Yeah. Okay. Uh, here, here we have Albin again. Uh, Albin's put back uh, a new amp. Where do you order it from? Uh, from Sonic Electron from the US, yeah? The US. So he's going to order this Power Christie amplifier. Uh, at the same time, he's got loads of cash, so he went and bought another amplifier. He got lots of money. <laughs> Only joking. Anyway, so he's going to bought this Power Christie uh, amplifier from America. Uh, it's supposed to, how much power does this amplifier do? And which model is it? Power acoustic uh, 55 hundred slash 1D. Okay, so that's the model of the amp there. Okay, so that's the monoblock. Okay, so power rating on this amplifier does is this is supposed to be RMS power. So uh, at one ohm it does 3200 watts. Uh, let's get the focus into there. So 3200 watts at one ohm. At two ohm it does 2500. Uh, at four ohm it does uh, 1700 watts RMS. Basically, Albert's bought this amplifier. And at the same time, he just uh, he likes Rockford because he's come down the shop and he's seen Rockford signs up there, and he loves his Rockford stuff. <laughs> anyway, but right, we're going to show you the the power acoustic amplifier first. Uh, casing looks very similar to a Rockford Frost Kate. Uh, lucky enough, uh, we have one here as well, a Rockford twenty five hundred one BD. All right, so this is a Rockford Frost Kate amplifier. This does it's supposed to be two and a half K, but it does. A little bit more power than obviously rated power than whatever it says. It does three, of course, the three K. Uh, this is supposed to be three thousand two hundred watts RMS. Uh, this looks more like a twenty five hundred watt RMS amp, close to three K. Anyway, if you look at the casing on it, very similar to Rockford. Not exactly the same, but very similar. I don't know if they made it to look the same. Uh, the casing of this amplifier is almost identical to the Rockford. Uh, I would like to take this apart and obviously show you guys what's inside here. Obviously the board comes on top, we've got Persis Perspex on top, you can see there. You unscrew that, that's where it comes off. Uh, the Rockford should be from the bottom. It is from the bottom, if you can see there. Okay, so now anyway, I've been bought this on... Where did you buy that Rockford first get amp from? Uh, from eBay. Oh, so you bought that on eBay, bid it? Yeah. I don't know if I want to ask him how much you paid for it, but... Uh, did you pay a lot for it? Yeah, they paid a bit of money for it, but uh, it should be worth it. But uh, only thing I can be eBay. Most important is when we buy things on eBay, make sure you pay by PayPal. Right, so I've seen a few people in the past uh, who actually bought things on eBay and you know other websites and whatever it is. Um, bought the product, paid cash and collection, and it come out to be broken, and they couldn't get the money back, or even file a dispute to get the money back. So if you pay by PayPal, you can actually file for a dispute. So that's only if you do it on eBay or any other sites like that. But uh, hopefully it doesn't look like there's nothing wrong with it anyway, that looks fine. Uh, so we're going to check that in a few minutes. But it's, uh, same as Power Acoustics, when you order from the States, uh, Sonic uh, Electronics, Sonic Electronics, yeah. Okay, Sonic Electronics, a few people that I've heard bought things from there and products have turned up and I've had an issue with them, so they're quite good uh, for buying things over there and importing over. But bear in mind, you have to pay the taxes when it comes over. You got a tax to pay when you come over? Yeah, pay uh yeah, so he had to pay a bit of tax. So you bear in mind, you guys, when you see the price on there, the delivery plus tax and custom clearance and whatnot. But anyway, he's got a bit of zero gauge left. So today we're going to be winding this in. And uh, what we're putting in today, we ain't putting the power crystal in today, are we? Just a Rockford, aren't we? Okay, he's going to go Rockford all the way. So he's going to put a Rockford first gate and uh, one connected. What, what was it? Connected what? Kinetic SC 2400. 2400. So that's roughly about 100 amp hours, yeah? It's uh, amp is 128. 128, so that's not fine. That's not bad. So we're gonna run that in now. We're gonna just gonna solder some zero gauge rings at the end of this now. Okay, so we're gonna put the zero gauge rings in it. And he's got he's also instead of just the 2500 uh, 1BD amp, he's also bought a connected kinetic H was it HC 2400? 128 amp hours or something like that. So we're gonna get that sorted out. We're gonna test it out now. So we've got that on. How much amp hours in it? I should tell you. What is it? It's, it's just like this uh, battery he's going to be using, kinetic. So we're going to test this up now. Uh, once we test this amp, we're going to start sorting the zero gauge rings and then we're going to start installing it all in now. Okay, so you're ready for it, yeah? Yeah. Ready. Less than a week, you upgraded, uh, two weeks on it? For the boss going, he's upgraded from power caps to batteries. So I've said to everyone, skip the power cap and go straight yeah. to the batteries. We're going to use power caps for you. No more, yeah? No more power caps. Any more no. power caps for you? No more power Okay, no more power cuts, see, straight to battery, that's real power. No more messing around power caps and things like this, it's a waste of time. Okay, at the same time, we've got, actually got a JBL GTI uh, 12 there, if you see. Okay, there's another project I've got to do for another person. It ain't finished the Sundown project, I've got a Sundown project to do, uh, a tunnel. 
uh, blow through in a um, 5 series BMW. And I also got one of that. That's the same blow through. This is for Mitsubishi. I'm sure it's a guy like V6 or something. Now. I'm not too sure what the car. Uh, then we've got some couple of DC subs over here. You can see it's DCs. This is a level 4 M2. Uh, there's also a ascending audio chaos here we've got, we've got to do for as well. Okay, so there's another, I'm sure there's, yeah, there's another one over here. Okay, so anyway, we're going to skip that now. We're going to go straight to testing these amps. Uh, and then we're going to start wiring up all the stuff, uh, all the good stuff. So all got the new good stuff is going in your car, yeah? All, good stuff, yeah. Uh, all new good stuff now. So from, from in phase, uh, I'm sure this man's going to be changing his sub soon. <laughs> he's going to be going for sundowns, isn't it? Sub, uh, Yeah, so he's going to... Put his monies together money, yeah. and then he's gonna buy himself some new sundowns SA series. He's gonna go for three now. At the minute, it's got two in phase 12s, but that's gonna happen at a later date. But that's that now for now. So, we've got some door bills up there. We're gonna be not building soon. Uh, okay, let's get on with it now. I'm gonna solder the rings and then we're gonna test the amp. Then we're gonna start. Uh, hopefully, the amp should be fine. Uh, I doubt it looks like anything wrong with the amplifier. The amplifier does look quite good. Uh, there's no smell in it whatsoever, so we're just sorting that now. Okay. Okay, so it's got a new connected battery. So we're removing the power cap uh, and installing the battery. Uh, for a big audio system, I never recommend people to use power caps, but uh, anyway, he's got it in there, so we're going to remove it now and install the new battery. Uh, that's how the connected battery is going to be sitting. Right. Okay, so it's ready for the new wiring up. Uh, if you guys have seen the wiring before, uh, it's going to be a whole new thing altogether. It's not just about changing wire and amplifier, is it? I mean, you know now, yeah? Yeah, so we're going to do, we'll make this bathroom for him now. So it's 14 inches across that way by 19 across, and it's going to actually go through the slot, and then it's going to support straight into the floor to stop the battery from moving. All right, we're going to start that now, and I'll get back to you. Okay, the panel's made now. You guys can see it actually sits level, so the battery doesn't move. It supports the battery properly. All right, so we've got all that there. So the fuse hold is going to go on here. Uh, straight to the earth point down here. Okay, that's on the live. You can see the zero gauge input. So this buffer I've made here holds the fuse holders. Just have to put another two screws, one here and one on the other side. And then once the fuse is in, I can cable tie everything up and tie it to work. Glad to see there. I'm going to put one over here to hold that cable down. All that's going to be holding down. The earth's gone into there already. So literally, the next thing I'll do on this side of it is basically put a positive live for the what for us get home. Okay, so uh, eventually got there. I uh, just got to tied up the wires up the, up the amp bit section side of it, but um, this is what we've done so far. Made a wood baffle, supports the battery, the battery doesn't move, also holds the uh, uh, zero gauge power cables and whatnot on the fuse holders, so it's all tidied up nice and clean. Yeah. How are you feeling, bro? Yeah, very Happy good. now, yeah? Yeah, I'll be mad now, yeah? yeah. Every time, yeah? yeah. For big free upgrade, yeah, big four upgrade. It's done more installed, yeah, so big four upgrade into his power. So he had power caps in here again, as you guys see earlier on today. We removed the power cap, clean all his wiring up. I've just made this baffle here. Run all his cables nice and tidy for him. Just got to put another uh, cable ties in that corner there. Just notice that now, so we're going to do that now as well. Made some sacrifices for his spare wheel. Got his connecting battery in there. Um, amps all wired up. Go and see all the nice earth points nice and tidy from uh, this is how 250 amp fuse there 250 at front yeah 250 at front as well so you guys will see there uh, it's done already so like I say all I've got to do is just basically solder like one wire over there for the remote uh, cable ties the top section and then I'll really screw that down because I've got something to screw down the side here get the cable to one side uh, and then uh, cable ties up that with those cables over there and that's it. Yeah, we're happy. I'm happy. Yes, but I don't know if this man's happy. Is this man happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, happy. <laughs> okay, he's happy, man. So, uh, we're done now. I'm going to get the carpet in and get his boxes, uh, set his amps up. Um, he's got to change his RCA wires at one point. Um, there's already something happened on one of these. So, the, the guy, what the guy decided to do was just chop that up. So, we're going to sort that out for him as well. So, we're going to order some Odyssey cable. Gonna tidy all the cables side this side there. What's the other two cables? RCAs. Uh, and that's really it.